In this fifth and final part to our hand rig video series, we're going to take a look at creating a single slider that will allow us to blend between the FK solution of these sliders and the IK solution of our IK effectors. And actually what he meant was we're going to take a look at how to hook up this slider as it's already been created. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is what I meant. But, uh, yeah, the slider is here, slider enable. So uh, cur currently this has a value of 0 to 100%, and it doesn't do anything. In order to make this work, we're going to have to tie our reach for translate and rotate into our expression. The funny thing is, though, if we plug this in directly, if we just say slider enable, uh, or basically that our reach T and R equal the slider enable value, we get exactly the opposite of what we want. We get 100% uh, being all the way to IK and 0% uh, being all the way to FK. So our slider, it'd be like slider disable. Right. So what we're going to do is uh, reverse the number, so to speak, by subtracting it from a value of 100. So let's go ahead and uh, show how to do that. There is a bit of a trick to this, though, that you do need to be aware of. And to make things nice and easy to select, I'm going to bring all of my fingers as straight out as I can, and then I'll grab one of my finger effectors and just bump it so it'll move it out to the fingertips. What we're going to need to do is activate the animation for all of our IK reaches, because right now we can't see these inside the expression. So we need to go through all of our fingers and click the animate button so that we can see these inside the expression. So now I'll grab the, the ring finger, click animate, grab the, the middle finger, animate, index finger, animate, and finally the thumb, and animate as well. So nice and easy. Now from here, we just need to get these down inside our expression. I'll come down here to a blank spot. I'll skip a space just for organization again. And we'll start with the index, because that's where we started before. And again, I'm using the, the Maya key system, so I'll x-drag this down and bring this in as a receiver. Now, we get some more stuff than we really need. Don't let that really freak you out. We have uh, IK reach for rotation and translation. I'm not going to expend that all the way because that's going to take up half my screen. So we'll clear out translation, scaling, and rotation. Now we'll grab the middle finger, X drag in one space below, and do the same thing. And the ring finger, and X drag, clear out. It's one of those dark, silent moments on the video. Need some elevator music. Yeah, I know. Muzak. <laughs> oh, you get it, Muzak? Yes, I get it, Mr. Zack. Yeah. I crack myself up. Yes, you do. Okay, but nobody else. So uh, there's all five of our IK reaches for translation and rotation. Now, very simply, let's take a look over here at where our slider enable is located. It's going to be in C1, so very easy to remember. And as I mentioned before, if we just directly plug these in, we're going to have the exact opposite of what we want. So to keep that from happening, we'll take the value here in, uh, in B21, and we'll set this to 100 minus... C1. So it'll essentially uh, reverse the value to give us exactly the number we need. So let's take this and hit Control C and put it here as well because it's going to be one slider controlling everything. And I'll do this for all of the fingers throughout real fast and easy. It's my favorite game. Copy paste. All right, so that does it for uh, all of the fingers. Let's go ahead and give this a quick test. What I'll do is I'll grab my slider enable. It's currently set to zero, so let's grab our index curl and bring it down and check it out. The rig is curling down, but the finger isn't moving. As I drag slider enable up, we're blending between IK and FK. Very nice. So with uh, slider enable set to 100%, we are using these custom sliders that we have created. With uh, these set to any other value, we have some sort of blend in between. So it's a very powerful way for you to control exactly what your fingers are, are doing, whether you like FK or IK, whether you want to use the sliders or the effectors. Mm -hmm. Show it one more time. I'll show it one more time, just as it's cool. So we have this nice curling action here. Let's go in and... Uh, blend back. Well, hang on. We'll 
pull these in just a little okay. bit just because I can. And then we have slider enable, which will take us back to our uh, IK. Okay. That's Boom. so cool. Awesome. So very natural motion. So that's going to wrap it up for not only this video, but our, our little hand rig series here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you learned a lot from it. Be sure to practice this. It's a very uh, nice way to extend the existing motion builder rig. And with that, thanks a lot.